Hello, welcome to a chair exercise video with movement style. My name is Caroline and I'm going to lead this video. We'll begin with some mobility for the shoulders and upper body and for the feet and the ankles and then we'll gradually move into a cardiovascular training sequence to gently work the heart and the lungs. Do make sure that your chair is nice and stable, we'll be moving around a little bit so uh, ideally the chair is quite strong and it, it won't tip over or move at all whilst you're exercising. The other thing is that the base of the chair that you're sitting on or the seat should be quite firm so that as we raise the legs we won't be sinking downwards in the opposite direction into a very soft cushion. The chair needs to be at a height which enables you as you're exercising to maintain a right angle, a 90 degree angle at the front of the hip joints and also at the back of the knee joints and that you are able to keep your feet nice and firmly in contact with the floor. Do also make sure that you've got water nearby, always drink if you feel thirsty and ideally try to remember to have a sip or two of water before you become thirsty. Let's get started with our training sequence. So as I was just explaining, we need to have a right angle at the front of the hip joints and at the back of the knees and our feet firmly in contact with the floor, heels, balls of feet both down. And then as well, ideally, our spine is nice and tall. So we've got back of hips, back of shoulders, back of head level, and engaging our abdominal muscles in the lower abdomen to help us keep our back tall and also squeezing our waist muscles in towards the spine, ideally at the back and the sides and the front to help us keep our spine nice and tall. We're going to begin by rolling through our shoulder. Let's say we'll roll through four times on the right side, so a little shrug towards the ear, opening the shoulder joint, turning it outwards, releasing the shoulder away from the ears, ear, and then just relaxing, so the arm rolls inwards. Then we shrug up, and we roll the arm outwards, release down, and then relax. It sort of rolls forwards almost on its own. Nice, free, easy breath as we're going, and seeing if it's possible to move and roll the shoulder without taking too much strain or tension in the muscles around the neck. So let's give that one more roll on this side, and then as you're ready, swapping over to the other side. The shrug up, the roll back, trying to activate the muscles on the back of your shoulder, releasing the arm down, keeping your spine tall and your neck tall, and then relaxing the arm again. So it's this rolling up, arm itself staying reasonably passive. So the effort of the movement is coming from this region and behind the shoulder rather than from here, ideally. So you really are able then to work into the shoulder joint, actually arrive there and let it mobilize. So let's do one more of these. And then as you're ready, let's breathe in to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears and breathing out nice, broad, open collarbones, shoulder blades wide and gliding down the back behind you. Breathing in, shrugging the shoulders up, Breathing out, relax the shoulders into the weight of the arms as you keep broadening out across the shoulder girdle. Breathing in to shrug up, you might feel your spine extend and lengthen upwards. And as you breathe out, work on holding your spine really tall. And the clue will be waist strength, lower abdominal strength especially. So I'm going to breathe in again. And then once again, breathing out, broad, sh broad shoulders, tall spine, and just relaxing there. Next, we're going to let the hands come in onto the shoulder joints. And let's just breathe in to lift the elbows up, breathe out to bring them back into the sides of the ribcage. So this is the chicken wings exercise, <laughs> not an attractive name. So we're going to breathe in, lift the arms up, and breathe out, bring them back down again. Stretching across the collarbones, across the shoulder joints, towards the elbows, and then again, breathing out to bring the arms back in and down again. So a nice big inhalation, using your breath to expand your chest from the inside and to help you reach into your elbows and breathing out to bring them down again. Once more, breathing in, really wide position and breathing out to come down. 
So now we're going to combine the last two exercises, letting the elbows lift up and then circulating the elbows around. So a little circle that goes above your shoulder joint, then behind, then below, and then forwards. Above and behind and below, and then forwards. Above and behind and below, and then forwards. Above and behind and below, and then forwards. And then circling in the opposite direction, down and then back and then up and then forwards. Down and then back and then up and then forwards down and then back and then up and then forwards and the last time through and just opening and releasing. And there we can just give the shoulders a gentle shake out to relax them. Let's bring the arms forwards here. I'm going to just reach into one arm and release. Reach into the other arm and release. And as we're reaching, just check that your shoulders are staying back in line with the hips and you're not pulling forward through the mid back. So the abdominal muscles stay strong and we reach and reach. And now we're going to reach forward into the right arm and a little bit pull back into the left. And reach forward through the left arm and a little bit pull back into the right. So reach forwards and counter stretch into the other arm, letting it draw back. It's this type of bow and arrow action. Letting your neck stay long and released as you're working. And once more in this direction and relaxing. So a little shake out again. And then let's raise the right arm and release. And raise the left arm and release. And raising and stretching and releasing. Raising and stretching and releasing. Let's raise and stretch again. Raise and stretch and release. Now we're going to raise and stretch and hold the arm raised. And raise and stretch and hold stretched and then from here let's bring the arms forward and counter stretch one arm to the side one arm but short to the other side passing through the center left arm is long right arm counter stretches into the elbow and changing and changing nice open feeling across the front of your chest each time as best you can Nice free breath, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Coming back and releasing, relaxing the shoulders. Good, well done. So that's been quite a lot of mobility for the upper body and the shoulders. And let's move down into some mobility for our feet and ankles. So the idea here is again to keep the trunk of the body quite tall and the abdominal muscles working. And let's work through the right foot first. So we're going to raise the heel and roll through onto the ball of the foot. If you feel comfortable, roll on up onto the tips of the toes. But coming up onto the ball of the foot is also enough. So we roll up and then back down. And ideally, we're looking to feel the muscles work from the centre of our ankle up through the centre of the back of our calf. And also that we feel a sense of lifting through the instep, the arch of the foot. So as the heel rises, just checking that your lower back is still staying nice and tall, using this engaged abdominal strength in the lower abdomen within the pelvis and the strength around your waist. So last heel raise there on the side and let's give it a go on the other side. So again, we can roll through to the ball of the foot and then relax, or we can roll through to the ball of the foot and on up to the tips of the toes. Just make sure if you're coming on up onto the tips of the toes that you're not too much scrunching the toes, that you're keeping the backs of the toes still lengthened. And it's the same idea that we're using the muscles at the ankle, the heel right up through the centre of the back of the calf and then relaxing again. And that as well, we're using the muscles on the instep around the arch and then relaxing again. So one more of these to go on the side and then relaxing down. Let's also work the outsides of the feet. So we can deliberately using the muscles within the foot, roll the foot onto the outside edge of the foot and deliberately use the muscles on the instep around the arch to roll back in again. So we roll onto the outside edge of the foot, use the muscles in the arch of the foot to bring the ball of the foot and the instep back in contact with the floor. So rolling out deliberately, use the muscles and roll back again. Rolling 
again, using the muscles on the outside of the foot and then the muscles on the inside of the foot roll back again. Out and in, out and in. So now as well, you can use the muscles on the instep to just take the foot a little bit too far to the center and then relax. Just bring the foot back. So heel, ball of foot, pad of little toe are even on the floor. Rolling in, coming back, rolling in, coming back, rolling in, and then back, in, and then release. So now the left leg, using the muscles on the outside of the foot to roll the foot outwards, and then the instep to come back again. Rolling outwards, instep to come back again. Rolling outwards, instep to come back again. Out, and then in, out, and then in, out, and then in. And then using the instep to roll the foot a little bit too much to the centre, and release a little bit too much to the center and release to the center and release center and release foot relatively neutral center and release center and release the last one center and release let's do both actions with both feet so feet not too far apart we can always just get a good gauge on the distance between the feet we can bring the insteps together swivel the toes out gently keeping the heels together and then bringing our heels in line with the toes. And then let's with the right foot and the left foot, use the muscles to roll the feet out and then back to the insteps, too much to the center, back to the foot aligned position. Roll out, center, too much to the center and then relax aligned position. Roll out, foot back, too much to the center, back to the aligned position. Rolling out, aligned position, too much to the center, aligned position, out, aligned, too much to the center, and aligned, last time, out, back to the center, aligned, and just spending a moment now to let your feet feel similar to both sides, heels down, balls of the feet down, pads of the little toes down, and a sense of length between the heels and the balls of the feet. Good, well done. So we're about to begin a little bit of training now. Let's take our right foot and work a heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Last time, heel, toe action and relax the foot to the floor. Left side, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Last time, heel, toe and release the foot to the floor. So we're going to come back again, heel, toe, but we're this time adding in a biceps curl through both arms as we go and release other side biceps curl through four times four heel toes heel toe and release let's give it another go so heel and a toe heel and a toe just checking that your back stays tall and last time changing sides heel toe heel toe heel toe last time and release new movement, a leg extension, toe tap and come back. So we'll do four, and as the leg goes forward, just check that your hips and back aren't moving with it, but you're stabilizing to the center, changing side. Tap left and come back. Breathe out and breathe in, breathe out and breathe in, breathe out and breathe in. Let's give it another go. Tap and tap, and if you feel ready, adding in a reach and a reach, changing side. Tap and tap and tap last time we're going to come back to the heel toe so here it is heel toe four times two to go now tap forwards so four three two heel toe on our left heel toe for four two and one tap forwards four three two and one let's give it another go so heel toes heel toes Heel toe and then tap forwards and reach and reach and reach and change. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, tap forwards and reach and reach and reach. New movement, tapping to the side. So abdominal muscles strong, keep both hip bones firmly on the chair. Tap right and in, tap right and in, tap right and in. Changing sides, 
center stays strong as the weight and the work of the leg goes to the side, hips stay centered. Let's break it down to twos. Two to the right and two to the left. Let's do singles. Eight, seven, staying centered. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. In twos. Two, and change. Two, and change to singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're going to march it through in seated. So if you feel you've been working very hard, just work with rolling the feet. So just raising the ankles, not too strong, a chance to recover, to let the heart and the lungs relax down a little bit, getting ready for the next um, sort of intense spurt on the sequence. But if you feel fine and you feel that you can keep on working, then it's a little bit of a bigger march, a little bit more action in the legs. But remembering as much as the legs move, we still aim to keep the pelvis nice and stable, weight pretty even through right hip and left hip, spine tall through the waist, no buckling. <laughs> so then with this marching, if you feel ready, we're going to add in a swimming arm. So swimming open and down. Swimming on forwards, wide and down. Swimming forwards, wide and down. And again, forwards, wide and down. If it feels comfortable, reaching up and arms come down. Reaching up and arms come down. The whole spine can lengthen up and the arms come down. Last time, reach and arms come down. Good, well done. Shall we go back to the very start with our heel toes and a biceps curl. Heel toe, heel toe, two to go. Tap forwards, reach forwards, three, two, changing sides. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Last time, stretching forwards, reach and reach and reach, tap to the side for four, three, two, and one, changing sides, four, three, two, and one, doubles, two, and change, two, and change, singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, let's march it through this time, well done, a little march, or if you need to bring it down and recover, pumping the heels is also fine. But if you're feeling pretty strong and you're able to keep training, keep that march going nice and strong. How about our swimming arms? Forward, wide and down. Swimming on forward, wide and release down. Forward, wide and release. Last time, forwards, wide this time up if you feel up to it reaching up and flow down and again reaching up and flow down again two to go reaching up stretch and flow down once more reaching up stretch and flow down well done so let's think about a slightly new step which is or movement which is a little, bit, a little bit like a knee lift, but we're going to bend the foot and leg up. So from the foot, this action that we already practiced, raising the heel using the arch of the foot and bend. So it's going to be four, three, two, and one. 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 Now if it suits you, four, three, opposite arm to leg, two, and one, and four, three, two, and one, and again, four, three, two, 
and one, last time, four, three, two, and one, well done. So how about we just flick a heel back and release, back and release, just making the back of your thigh work, back of your thigh work, the squeeze, the squeeze, the squeeze, let's do a pattern, so it's single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double. Let's go back to the bounces. So bounce, three, two, and one. Bounce, three, two, and one with the norm. Bounce, two, three, and one. Bounce, two, three, and one. Hamstrings, single, single, and a double. Single, single, and a double. Single, single, and a double. Last set. Single, single, and a double. Well done. Let's just gently march it through, allowing the body to come down. So we've been training quite hard, working quite hard, and well done if you've managed to stay with me through the sequence as far as this. Let's just add in a little bit of reach and pull on, reach and pull on, reach and pull on, reach and pull. We'll do two more, reach and pull, reach and pull, and relaxing and letting our legs gradually stop as well. It's time to do uh, a little bit of core strength training. We've been doing it through the sequence because of how we've been working, thinking about our back and our posture. But let's just give it an extra boost, this core strength. And to do that, we can start with the right angle at the front of the hip joints, back of the knees. Let's just fold the arms so that our elbows are directly in line with our shoulder joints. Don't have to hold on or anything. And then with our abdominal muscles working very firmly in the lower abdomen and around our waist, shoulders moving away from the ears, let's raise our right leg without putting any extra pressure into the left leg. So now breathing here all the time, keep your spine really tall and lifted from the tailbone to the crown. And as you're ready, on an exhalation, arms moving forwards, still keep them nice and narrow in line with your chest. And if you can, extending the leg, keeping your back still really tall, avoiding any buckling with your back towards the back of the chair, don't forget to breathe, and relaxing back down again. Good, well done, that's quite a strong exercise. So once again, folding the arms with the elbows in line with the shoulders, collarbones open, and gliding our shoulder blades down the back, lots of strength in the lower abdomen and around the waist, spine nice and tall, and then again, as you're ready, lifting the left leg up, but keeping your back really, really tall. And then as you're ready, on an exhalation, arms extending. Still keep the collarbones open, shoulder blades moving down the back. Now, only if you feel strong enough, adding the leg extension. Don't forget to breathe here, it's very important. Breathing, one last breath. And then, as we're ready, relaxing that down as well. After that, let's stretch our lower back a little bit. So hinging forward, both sitting bones staying nice and firmly on the chair, reaching your sitting bones back a little bit as you let your spine lengthen forwards. We can support our position with our arms on our thighs, collarbones open and breathing. So now if you have high blood pressure at all, stay in this position with your head above your heart. But if you're fine for the blood pressure, you can always release the head below the heart, just rolling down a little bit here, slightly more stretch maybe. So breathing, last couple of breaths, and then as you feel ready, nice deep lift in your abdominal muscles, let's roll up through our spine, all the way back up again towards seated. And then about time, to stretch the hamstrings. Let's lengthen the right leg in front of us, double checking that you're still keeping your hips really firmly 
on the chair and then let's hinge forward at the hip, lengthening the spine, reaching as you can towards this right heel. So you feel the stretch through the back of the leg, maybe even into your calf and ideally this foot is flexed at the ankle. That helps to keep your knee a bit stronger in the position. So once again, breathing in to hinge back up and let's stretch on the other side. So the other leg moving forwards, abdominal muscles nice and strong, hinging forwards here at the hip, shoulders broad and wide and moving down the back. So breathing, you can flex the ankle on this side as well. And then once again, as you're ready, on an inhalation, drawing back up. So now if it feels comfortable with keeping your back tall, you might be able to just gently raise one leg, bring it up. It might come higher, it doesn't need to. Just let it come up to where it can come with your back staying tall. So the two things together are, are what we're doing, more than just the leg coming high. And then releasing, and then the same on the other side. So just letting the leg come up, just as high as it will come with your back staying tall. Breathing, breathing. And again, just allowing that to relax and to release. So now let's hold on to the side of the chair or the support at the back of the chair. And we're just going to, with our right arm, reach out just slightly above the shoulder joint. Nice and long stretch, shoulder blades, both of them gliding down the back. Keep both hip bones firmly on your chair. And as you stretch towards this right arm, let your rib cage move a little bit with your right arm off to the side. Both hips stay down, the waist stays tall. And just add a little bit of a reach in here, upwards a little bit more on our right side. And you should feel the stretch around the outside of the rib cage. Remembering to breathe and aiming not to push the ribs forward, but keep the base of the rib cage tucked down. And then once again, releasing, bringing your ribs back to the center, right above your hips and relaxing down. Same on the other side, hips nice and stable, reaching off to the other side, the left side, stretching and opening, shoulder blades gliding down the back, abdominal muscles strong. And then with keeping your hips in position, just let your ribs stretch a little bit as you really reach into your left arm, let your ribs move across a little bit with you. And you can reach up there, left arm goes slightly higher so you feel the stretch in the outside of the rib cage and breathing. And once again, releasing the arm back down. Let's draw the arms forwards, stretching into the knuckles, letting the shoulders move backwards. Abdominal muscles are strong and we'll let the whole spine round and come into a letter C shape here just for a moment. Stretching ears and arms coming towards each other and then rebuilding your spine. Let the shoulder blades glide down the back nice and tall. And bring the arms behind us, holding on to the back of the chair or interlacing the hands behind you. Opening the chest and lifting your spine up as high as you can. Keep lifting and lengthening through your neck as well and breathing, and once again, just relaxing. Let's here breathe in and breathe out, circling the arms, breathe in and breathe out, circling the arms, breathe in and breathe out. Just giving ourselves a little bit of a shake down and releasing, and we've come to the end of this workout and this sequence. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It helps you to know when I'm uploading a new video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon on Movement Style.